So I'm bike fitting at Pi Cycles today with Jim and um, myself, obviously. And we have Jim's bike, right? And I just thought I'd video it because it's a really good example of um, why someone is getting hand numbness. So Jim is complaining of like hand numbness and then up into the shoulder, up into the upper traps, just getting a lot of tension through the neck and the upper traps. So what can happen is if the seat is far forward, which it was, um, and it was a little high as well, so being that far forward, it actually causes uh, too much weight force to, to go onto the handlebars, uh, simply because you you just, you need that seat to go back so that you can kind of um, get a better weight distribution through the backside and less weight through the arms. So that's what we're gonna do today. Bring this back, bring it down. We've got a nice cost, we've got a nice example of He's doing pretty well, he's stable, but we could be more stable than that. And then he has, uh, sorry to talk about you here, Jim. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a bit high there, look. So that's a 148, quite uh, just at the upper end of the range there for someone whose hamstrings are maybe not a, not like a, a ballerina just yet. But you might get there. <laughs> <laughs> so we've dropped the seat, yeah, and uh, we've brought it back, right? So we're. Reducing that knee angle. Jim feels a bit less force through his arms. Let's look at his uh, pressure mapping. What we want as well is that uh, there's more newtons of force going through the seat. 184. It's stable. 196 are so not much different So we might just have to tweak this a bit more yeah So we're back with Jim and what we've done is we've, we've really had to keep dropping the saddle and now we've got a kind of a, a Situation where he noticeably feels a lot less force through his arms He's able to relax the elbows. He hasn't been able to do that for a while uh, We'll run a video but his new knee angle is at I'm hoping it's more in line with uh, Jim's flexibility because his hamstrings are maybe only getting, they're not, they're probably in the orange if you look at a, a traffic light. Yeah, that's more appropriate. So we look for like a knee angle of 138 to 148 and now we're nicely tucked that lower end of the range for Jim because like I say, he doesn't have brilliant flexibility. So that looks good. And then we'll do a pressure mapping. So I'm hoping for sit bones at the back of the seat and more, more force through the seat. There we go, we know that, that's brilliant. We know the sit bones are at the back of the seat because you can see the colors here at the back. And, oh, beautiful. Yeah, we've, we've upped the force on your seat by 100 newtons, so yeah. we've got a lot more weight force on your seat. Yeah. So that has to mean that his arms have less force. So see there, 268 uh, is the newtons of force on his seat, but he came in with 196, so we've upped that. So therefore his hands have to have less force. Right, put your hands across the tops. Yeah, let me just look at this. Really obvious uh, sit bone here. The reason I'm stressing this is because Jim is on a T-shaped saddle, so he has to have sit bones at the back, see? You don't want to end up in the middle of a T-shaped saddle because there's no support for the pelvis, so we need to have the sit bones at the back. Great, and now crank it up there, and then let's get an effort out of you. So now he's gonna push through. Let's see how stable he is at a higher wattage. Going for it. Very, yeah, uh, yeah, it's all good. All right, lovely. That's it, we'll stop there. So now that we've got a nice setup here, we've got the right, we, we, we've got a relaxed upper body, relaxed arms. We're now teaching Jim about the pedal stroke because uh, this is gonna be key for him to uh, reduce the weight through his arms, to try to push 
away, down and away from him. So he's starting the pedals, he's initiating around about 12 o'clock and he's trying to push diagonally towards 4 o'clock. And the reason for that is that if you push down and away, then the counter force keeps your backside back in the seat. And that means less weight through his hands. You got what, it, you got what I'm saying? Yeah. Lovely.